Hello everybody, uh, my name is Adam and today I'm going to take you over uh, the new Twilio plugin that I've developed. Um, so I got requested to build this plugin by a client uh, because the native Bubble Twilio plugin just had some limitations that didn't meet their use case. So what I've done is I've kind of uh, built this out um, and then added some extra features so that I think this may appeal to a lot of people who kind of require exposed states uh, screenshotting, uh, screen sharing, a more interactive kind of video container and just a bunch of other features that uh, Bubbles native plugin doesn't offer. Um, as well as that, I'm, I'm very active in kind of servicing my plugins. Um, so anyone who has extra requests uh, or anything like that, or you kind of think that there's some extra features that I could also add onto this, feel free to get in touch to me. Anyway, without further ado, what I'm gonna do is get into exactly how this works, give you guys a little bit of a demo. Um, in saying that, all the uh, access to the editor, access to this demo page, all those links will be provided in the plugin page and also on my website. So basically how this works um, is there's a, a unique ID for every participant in the room and a display name, which is what's gonna display when their video is off. With this, I've kind of got this set up in a really simple way so you guys can see, see exactly how this works. But if you've kind of got these users stored in a database already or something like that, you can pre-fill these fields so that they don't even see when they join the video. What I'm gonna do is just use a random unique ID and the display name and join the room. Now, what it does is it also sources the available uh, audio and video inputs. Um, so they can choose to join the room with those inputs if they would like, if you leave it blank. Um, it will just be de the default. Um, as well as that, you can join with the video on and off. I've kind of set these up, but all the exposed workflows for this are available and I'll walk you through those at the end of this video. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna join with that. I'm also gonna duplicate this just to simulate more people joining the room. Cool, so what it's done is it's loaded me into the room. You'll see that my microphone is off, my video is off. These are my available microphone and video inputs. Oh, there's one participant in the room. Nobody in the room is currently screen sharing. And this is my unique ID. So these are all exposed inputs that will update as the video container updates. As well as that, I'll turn my video on and I'll turn microphone on and off and you'll see those toggle. Uh, as well as that, we've got the screenshot functionality. So I'll take a quick screenshot. What this will do is it will screenshot the container. Keep in mind that all of these elements you don't actually have to offer if you don't want to. So if screenshotting is a security risk or you don't want people to be able to screenshot, that is not something that you need to add into yours. I've added that as a separate uh, like uh, workflow action. You do not need to include that in, in your application if you do not want to. Um, what I'll do is I will now simulate some other people joining the room. <coughs> Cool, so some of the features I've kind of added here is what you'll see, we've got the two people in the room now, is that you can actually collapse uh, the local participant container. That's what I call this bottom left container. Um, and the main reason I added that in is because if a user is sharing their screen or something like that, I really wanna be able to give this entire video container space to that shared screen. Because the smaller that shared screen is, especially if there's writing, small font or something, it could be way uh, much harder to see. So what, how we just got set up is we've got the other participants contain, container, uh, which is all the other room participants will be in this uh, container on the bottom, which is also collapsible. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll get one more person to join so you'll see how that works, but that will spread out across uh, this bottom of the screen. Um, and if there's you know, 20, 30 people in the room, it'll become a scrollable kind of uh, container. And I'm not gonna show you that, but if you do wanna test that, feel free to test that out. Um, anyway, uh, so, and what I'll do is I'll just turn the video on here. So you'll see I'm the local participant and you'll see the kind of update in the other fields. What I'm also going to quickly show you is the screen sharing. Let's just do cool. So the true benefits of this collapsibility is then when we get this kind of functionality where the user can, can completely see exactly what's going on on the screen. Um, anyway, that was kind of what I wanted to take you through, what's possible with this plugin. As you can see here, we've got the unique IDs of all the participants. It is currently presenting, so that's now a yes. And if you want to trigger any certain events, pop-ups, anything to do with those, you now have the ability to kind of uh, have a lot more freedom on triggering certain things based on what's happening in the meeting. Um, 
anyway that is that um and what i'll do is i'll hit disconnect and you'll see this container start to shrink um that is essentially the twilio plugin um, i'm definitely looking to kind of push more updates if people want more features or you, f you feel like i've missed something that's kind of critical um and what i'll do is i will show you through this is the bubble editor um so uh, you've got access to come in here and see exactly how I kind of set things up. So what I do is when the button join room, I pop up the selected audio and then we've kind of got these workflow steps. So feel free to come in here and kind of look at how I've set this up. Currently container and container, um, that is the only container layout um, I'd recommend using. And what I'll actually do after this video is go in and clear that out. Um, that is the only container layout that we should be using as for now. Uh, but aside from that, feel free to come in here and have a look. Um, and I'm, I'm open to uh, reach out to me via my support email, which is on my website. Um, if you've got any questions, upgrades, uh, anything like that, um, or respond in the bubble thread. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to kind of pushing this uh, plug in and hopefully it provides use case to you and your application. Thank you very much. Um, and yeah, enjoy the plugin. Thanks.